Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Chris Ruins Chikuma. I'm a professor at uh, U of A in uh, the department, uh, uh, MLCS department, which is a modern languages uh, and cultural studies. And um, I'm very glad to um, interview Bettina, who is the new professor in our department, and she's going to introduce herself. Bettina. So hi everybody, my name is uh, Bettina Eger. I'm a freelance researcher and a comics writer and illustrator, currently based in uh, Innsbruck in Austria. And uh, uh, starting from September, I'm going to uh, teach in Edmonton at the University of Alberta as the new visiting guest professor from Austria. Very good. Uh, um, Bettina, you also, you just said it, I mean, uh, you're also an artist. I mean, uh, so could you elaborate a little bit on that? I mean, what, do you, what pro I mean, books did you uh, produce up to now and maybe talk a little bit about that? Okay, so as a comics uh, artist, uh, I have uh, been living in France for over 10 years, for nearly 12 years and uh, worked with different publishers there. I kind of uh, I really learned to appreciate and to comprehend comics in France, I, I, uh, I think. And uh, that's really my uh, theoretical and practical background as well. Um, I work uh, a lot on uh, non-fiction, on documentary comics. Uh, for instance, I published several uh, travelogues on uh, an interview with a uh, famous French comic artist, Emmanuel Guibert, in a uh, comics form. I also write fictions, for instance, and uh, like uh, fic more fictions about childhood or also uh, adventure comics even. So I, yeah, I have a, a great interest for documentary comics, but I do have a, a bigger range of uh, personal production. Very good. This is for the creative part, and it's. I, I must uh, say something about it because I read two of your books, and uh, I was really amazed how interesting they are. One is an interview of uh, Guibert, uh, and the other one I just read uh, some days ago is uh, "À la recherche d'un monstre" du monstre, uh, which is amazing. Also, very interesting. I recommend it. Uh, hopefully, everybody is going to read it. Although it's in French, it's probably also in German, I guess. Uh, no, only in French. Only in French up to now. So we're looking for translators uh, <laughs> right, to translate your books, uh, including, uh, including in English, if possible. That would be wonderful because they really deserve it. I mean, uh, uh, the two that I've read are really very interesting. Um, so now, what about your research? I mean, uh, what was uh, your top, the topic of your uh, PhD? So my uh, PhD thesis at the University of Salzburg was about uh, Emmanuel Guibert and uh, more precisely about uh, memory and uh, comics. Uh, so uh, uh, my PhD thesis uh, was uh, uh, an artistic uh, and a theoretical uh, work. So I, uh, I used uh, artistic and uh, more classical uh, methods to dig into this uh, subject uh, of uh, representation of memory in the oral history comics of uh, Emmanuel uh, Guibert. Uh, this it was, was uh, yeah. It was specifically about Guibert. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this mm -hmm. was uh, you worked on uh, two or three of his books specifically. So uh, La Guerre d'Alan. Uh, yes, in English, the, the whole English. Alan cycle and the photographer. And, and the photographer, uh, okay. Yeah. And they're both in English, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm saying this for our uh, viewers and uh, just to, you know, let them read these books. And your thesis is available uh, as a book or as a thesis? Uh, unfortunately, only in German, but yes, I can even show it, actually. <laughs> sure. That was always interesting. So, oh, wow. so uh, it is is, uh, I designed it as a book that you can switch. So there's the, the more theoretical, classical part of the, of the thesis. Uh, and 
the comic uh, part, oh, which you. is uh, an interview with uh, Emmanuel Guibert. And uh, the two parts really uh, go together and uh, uh, and make a, a whole. So the, the the goal was really to have uh, these different point of views on the uh, on the topic of memory, starting and well, maybe even have Giber as a kind of a starting point for and push further a reflection on my own work about about him. And so this is a book, uh, so it was published by uh, University Presses, or how does it work? Okay, this is, um, uh, the publisher is uh, Christian Bachmann, it's a German publisher, and uh, he's really quite unique in, even in Europe, I think, because uh, his uh, publishing house uh, is uh, really mainly dedicated to uh, studies in, uh, about comics, to comic studies. Uh, and uh, he does quite a, a great job with that. So, uh, okay, very good. So uh, even I mean, in France, I don't think there's a publisher who who really publishes uh, only comic studies. So yeah, it's really really unique. There's a lot of stuff happening in in Germany actually about comic studies. So yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. There is a whole association or a research group. And yeah, uh, in France might be l'association, but we'll talk about it later. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll do that. But uh, what about your teaching now? Your teaching plans? I mean, what are you planning to teach during these two years or, or more that you're going to stay with us? Okay, so for the first year. Uh, I have more or less a plan for the four courses I'm going to teach. So one course is going to be about uh, science in comics, uh, how uh, uh, comics about science, but also com uh, science in comics, uh, which uh, comes from my personal uh, background already from my PhD thesis. Uh, and uh, another one which is uh, more dedicated to Austrian comics culture. And uh, uh, a third one which is about comics and memory, graphic memories. Uh, and uh, the last one which will be about traveling and uh, travelogues. Uh, a common feature of all the four courses uh, which are pretty much linked to my own uh, experience and uh, and my own uh, expertise, I think, uh, is that uh, every course also has a hands-on component. So uh, it is really important for me that the students uh, get an insight into comics making, not only into uh, the theoretical point of view on comics, but also into how you actually do comics. And uh, so that they have the opportunity to uh, develop their own small comics project at the end of the course. Wow. Okay. Wow. So you might have a, I mean, to advertise it in the uh, Department of Art and Design, because there you have uh, people who are right, I mean, directly um, knowledgeable about these uh, technical and practical issues, uh, maybe a bit more. Uh, challenging in the MLCS department, but I do have, I, I had students, I taught some classes where I gave the option uh, to the students to create and, and actually they, mm -hmm. uh, many are interested actually and in, uh, you do have programs, uh, I tell them when they don't know about, they're not sure about themselves about how to draw or they don't have, mm -hmm. they, they, they don't feel comfortable, right, I mean, about drawing and um, I, I, I tell them that, that they can use a um, uh, computer programs to, to draw, yeah. right? I mean, uh, or even um, take uh, uh, photos or uh, documents yeah. that are online and then create a, a comics uh, from these uh, basic documents that they can have instead of drawing, right? Yeah, exactly. Or, or even collage or some, yeah, or exactly. use photographs and that. There are quite a lot of uh, uh, techniques that, that you can use if, if you don't feel comfortable with uh, drawing, I think. But uh, uh, during the two years, last years, when I uh, uh, taught at the University of Salzburg, that, that was with uh, students uh, from uh, uh, 
which came more from uh, literature or philosophy, sometimes some media studies. And uh, they, well, once they, they uh, overcome this, uh, maybe this uh, uh, first uh, fear that you might have for, for drawing, they, they all got very excited about drawing and uh, uh, Sometimes people, in my experience, sometimes people who don't have uh, so many experience in drawing come up with very creative solutions for storytelling. Okay. And um, after all, I'm, I'm always trying to, to teach my students that the, the most, well, that the important thing in comics is the stories, the storytelling, and uh, to not, uh, feel afraid of uh of taking the the pencil and uh, to to just let yourself go <laughs> yeah absolutely no i completely agree with you that this is the kind of myth that uh to i mean to create a comics you have to be a, a great um artist draw, drawing right i mean uh, yeah. artist yeah. and uh, of course a lot of comics are not uh, uh don't use a academic uh, background uh, in mm -hmm. in drawing right i mean uh so uh, like Trondheim being one of them in yeah. France, where drawing is certainly not uh, uh, close to anything uh, academic in his yeah, case, yeah. But, but I mean, he's one of the most creative uh, artists in France. And so, yeah, it's important to, uh, to tell the students about that. Yeah, absolutely. So your courses will be the four of them in English? Yes. Okay. So the four courses are for, for the in, first okay. year at least, and uh, for the second year we'll see for some courses in French too. Okay. 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 So uh, now they know. I mean, uh, the whole campus is invited because it's in English. Wonderful. Uh, and then we can maybe uh, finish with uh, what is the um, uh, the project you're working on now, and that you are, I mean, spe specifically excited about, and you would like to talk mm -hmm. about. Uh, I'm at the moment. I'm working on a, a, a comic about the work of a team of archaeologists from uh, Innsbruck, Austria, uh, and their uh, and their research in uh, Armenia. So, uh, uh, jumping a little bit around the uh, around the, the planet, but yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I had the chance to accompany them uh, for their. Uh, mission uh, two years ago, just before the pandemic. And uh, uh, I stayed with them for uh, for one week to, to observe their, their work and how they're, how they're doing in the field, what, uh, what is their daily life, uh, uh, what does it mean to, uh, to do field work in uh, archaeology, and uh, also to comprehend uh, what their what their research is about <laughs> in, in a more global sense. Um, and uh, at the moment, I'm still uh, doing uh, the comic uh, about, their, about this uh, week that I spent together with the archaeologists. So this um, would be a book, right? I mean, a, a whole project, yeah. uh, okay. And it would be published in French or in German? In French again. In French, or, <laughs> so, certainly because apparently you work first in French, or how does it work? I mean, uh, for you, I mean. Uh, uh, yeah, that. Uh, um, well, I, I really spent quite some time in in France, and uh, now it's at the point that I'm writing first in French, and. Uh, uh, so your language, or, your language in comics is French. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then your thesis was in German, obviously. So uh, your theoretic theoretical uh, background is is more like working in German, but then the, the practical is more like uh, in French, apparently, right? Um, I, I did my master uh, diploma uh, in Fran in French too. Oh, so okay. uh, I I feel well. And, and when I came back from France, I really felt more at ease in, in French than in German. But uh, <laughs> that came, uh, it, well, it was a problem that could be easily resolved very luckily. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and then we're looking forward to seeing you uh, on, on, uh, in Edmonton and to go for finally, hopefully, a coffee. Uh, and a croissant, yeah. a Viennese croissant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully, after the pandemic. 
uh, hopefully it's going to yeah. be by September. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.